Have you ever carried around a fly in your box for years before you actually used it? I have. And that's how I came about this next pattern that we're going to tie. This is a black Perdigon tied on a check nymph hook. Uh, this was given to me about four years ago uh, by a lady fly tire. And she at that time was a guide and told me these nymphs would catch me many fish. Of course, I don't know why I didn't use them right away, uh, but eventually I did. One day on the Little Juniata River, after trying everything else in my fly box, I decided to tie one of these on and it saved the day. It ended up being the fly for the day. And since then, it has become a confidence pattern for me everywhere I've fished. It can represent everything from a caddis pupa to a midge to a betis. This is the Black Partygon tied on a check nymph hook. Also, check out our website, darkskiesflyfishing.com. We recently launched a regional fly fishing magazine that is available to view and download for free. Lots of great fly tying articles in there, articles about conservation, various destinations throughout the Northeast here. I think you're gonna like it. Let's get tying. For the black Partygon uh, check nymph style hook, uh, I'm using a model 28 sold by a wholesale fly company and this is size 14 barbless it's a great quality hook i've been using for a while i also get uh, my tungsten beads from a wholesale fly company too uh, this particular case i'm using a 3.2 millimeter uh, 1 8 bead tungsten and this is brown metallic metallic brown um, a great color for a very natural looking nymph uh, you could also tie this with a, a couple variety of different colors, uh, silver, you know, whatever, whatever you wanted there, whatever your preference is for different water types. Um, I am overbeating this just slightly because I like it to be extra heavy to fish in big waters uh, all year round. Um, for smaller waters or lesser flows, I will lighten this up to a 764 speed or I just won't add any extra uh, wire weight to it. And in this particular case, I'm using 0 0.015 round wire, and I'm just gonna make eh, probably six or seven wraps with that wire. Push that up tight under the bead there. This puppy will sink like a rock. And I'm gonna tie my thread in right behind that wire. I try not to squeeze the wire too hard or else sometimes you know it'll start to separate and uh, it can just be a pain in the butt to deal with. I'm not very good at working with wire anyway when wading nymphs um, so you know I've learned the hard way sometimes to not not put too much pressure on that and it'll start separating just cause a hassle. For the tail I'm using Coke de Leon. Uh, this is the speckled uh, light pardo and I'm using just seven or eight, six, seven, eight fibers of that Coke de Leon. And you can see the nice, nice natural pattern to that feather. And there's a reason why uh, this style of tail feathers call for so many Euro nymphs and protagons. And that's just because it's very durable. It's a little stiffer. It'll withstand uh, bouncing off that bottom as well as many catches, which is what you're gonna have with this fly. For the length of the tail, I like to make it approximately one and a half hook gaps in length. And once I figure out my spot, I tie that in. All the way up to the bead. Turn those feathers. And now we're just gonna create a thread body. Nice tapered body. Doesn't have to be real thick, but um, you know, just somewhat even. You can spend as much time or as little time on this as you want because it's really just going to be covered by the, the resin here in just a second. Once I have a decent taper body built there, I'm going to use a couple half hitches to hold that in place. And 
and I'm going to use UV resin, thick. And I'm going to pour a couple drops on my bodkin. Uh, with this stuff, you know, less is definitely more. And uh, it can get out of hand real quick if you don't watch or if you're sloppy like I tend to be. And uh, I'm just going to cover that thread body as evenly as I can. Top, bottom, sides. It's okay if you miss a patch. Hit it with the UV light to cure it, usually for about five or ten seconds. And there you go. Uh, finished black pertigon tied on a check nymph caddis hook. I tie these from a size 12 down to 20 in various weights because I want to be able to fish this pattern in any situation, every, any river, because that's exactly where they'll catch fish. And sometimes, lots of them. Catch you next time.